This is Mark and welcome to Brick Foundation. We're gonna pull up the new video that Lego just released about the haunted house. It's the Fairgrounds collection. Let's go ahead and get started and let's take a look. Hi, I'm Carl and I'm a senior designer at Lego. And today I'd like to show you Hi, the Lego haunted house, Manor Von Baron. Manor Von Baron is a haunted house theme park ride. And the main attraction is a free fall tower. So it's like a crazy elevator that the minifigures can get on, ride to the top, and drop super fast to the bottom. Baron Von Baron is one of the greatest supervillains of all time, from the 1998 Lego theme, Adventurers. And he traveled all over the world and stole different artifacts. With this set, what we've done is actually oh, taken okay. some artifacts from other old Lego sets I have that set. and put them in to his house. It starts out as a Gothic-style mansion. And then the house also unfolds, so you can go inside and look at Um, it looks more like a church, kind of with a bell tower, than an actual just haunted house to me. All the play features, you can see the uh, haunted front doors that actually can open by themselves. A spooky organ, the ticket stand like where you can buy tickets, some kind of strange altar in the attic. Who knows what it was originally for? We've included a lot of detail just around the house as well to really bring that haunted mansion to life, really make you feel like you're in this super spooky atmosphere. One of the yeah, it, just, it doesn't look like a haunted house to me. To me, it looks like it's, like I said before, it looks like a church with a high bell tower or something. It isn't, or a steeple, or they call that. That's, that's what it looks like to me. So far right now, based, I'm kind of liking the older 2012 model a haunted house from Monster Fighters versus this one. Else that Carl was really excited about is we used a little dark gray frog on the exterior to represent gargoyles. And we got so many laughs when we were putting that on the model. It was really, really just a fun little detail to put in there. We have a lot of builds that are taken and rebuilt from old Lego sets. We have the head of the Sphinx from one of the adventure sets. We have the obelisk from the adventure sets. We have the heads of Anubis, again, from the adventure sets. We have the orb of Ogle mm -hmm. from the Alpha Team sets. There's even a cursed painting that the Baron had painted when he nice. first got the Rigo Ruby. What I actually love about this set is right here, the portrait of Baron Von Baron. I was so happy to- Baron Von Baron. To work on this because I was able to capture this like evil iconic character in a haunted mansion. It's amazing. You can see him holding the ruby that he mm -hmm. stole. And then of course the secret behind it is that once you illuminate it, you can see the mummy's curse haunt. That's pretty cool guys. That's a nice little touch. That's nice. Him forever. I'm not sure what it is about Baron Von Baron that I love so much. He just always, whenever I looked at that many of you, he looked very handsome to me. Also, he's extremely evil. Guessing it's the monocle and the handlebar mustache. Possibly. Which I sympathize with. This set is filled with a ton of minifigures. You got two spooky ghosts, two spooky nice. twins, and the rest are attendants that love this ride. And also one skeleton for fun. Carl made sure that That's I did it? a ton. That's the only minifigures? All right, so besides the ghost and maybe the twins, but maybe not so much the twins that I, I really don't care about any other the figures. So just two ghosts and, and that's about it for me. <sighs> that's a little disappointing. Decorations for this. And one in particular that I like is this one, which is a reference to Fright Night. You nice. can see the numbers indicating one of the set numbers, um, but I'll let you look that up and discover it on yourself. The elevator is actually a very interesting function to design. I'm actually interested in this. This is this is where I'm like the engineering portion of the actual elevator. This looks pretty cool. To help work on this problem, I actually got Mike Psyche to come in and help me. There was actually a lot of physics involved to get it to work correctly mm -hmm. because what we needed to do was have this elevator drop and then slow down when it got to the bottom of the tower. So we built some flywheels into the tower that the elevator cart can transfer the energy to the flywheels and then pass by those and the energy stays in the flywheels and is no longer in the elevator cart. It actually is part of the- That's pretty cool guys. It actually has real engineering into it. Flywheel to slow it down. That's, that's pretty cool. I like that. That's nice. I'm, I'm going to enjoy that portion. 
testing of the model, we, we wanted to see, okay, how high can this tower be built and actually still work? Carl was convinced it could go really high. I think in the end we built one that was two meters tall or something, Dang. and it didn't work at all. Oh, it kind of works. But the height that we're at is really, really good. A lot of stuff we do, we do as a team. But for this set, it was really um, all working on at the same time. So we'd have one of us working on one part of one. I was actually about to say, based upon what I've seen already, it, it looks like four or seven people put their ideas together and worked separately. It doesn't look like one cohesive build. Another part of it, and then we get all together and work together. It was really fun to work in this big group of designers, we could really focus on our individual tasks. We all have this kind of crazy obsession with this 1998 Lego theme, Adventurers. It had this hero, Johnny Thunder, and it was set in Egypt. Love Johnny Thunder. A called Baron Von Baron and Sam Sinister. And they were going about kind of chasing these Egyptian relics, trying to find this ruby, trying to avoid the cursed pharaoh. We did something called paired design, which is something that Carl and I have kind of made up. I would be sitting at my computer working on the model. Carl would just sit right behind me and almost just watch what I do. Micromanage maybe? Maybe just a little bit? Don't use that brick, use this one instead. Or, oh, I think you need to turn that or raise it. I think it worked really well to, to come to a really great result in the end. One of the other new things I did with this process was actually bring my eight-year-old son, Oliver, to work and have him build some of the interior details. This stuff, I How cool would that be? If I was eight years old, my, even now, if I had knew somebody that worked at Lego and I could go visit and help him design, oh, that'd be awesome. In the haunted Jealous. house was a skeleton hanging from its feet, a snake under a table in the attic, a barrel next to the organ, and a pumpkin in the front yard. You, the, if it's a haunted house, if there's a haunted house, you need a pumpkin in there. Sorry, pumpkin, graveyard, ghost, you need that in there. So good job. The way that this set ended after this whole design process is beyond a dream. This is, I never imagined that we would be able to do something that had so many different fun features and functions and details and it's just I'm it's that beyond organ. what I could That organ's looking really nice. That's going to be fun. I think that's probably my favorite portion of the inside of the haunted house. Or, I really shouldn't say haunted house, it's a theme park ride. Disappointed in those. All right, guys, so my thoughts. Now let's discuss the topic of the box art. I would have to say I, I do think it does appeal to a older audience, even though I believe it loses some of Lego's charm, the warmth, everything. When you look at it, a typical Lego box that I'm used to, it reminds me of childhood and reminds me of a fun time. It just kind of looks basic. I don't hate it, just a boring box. Once again, like I said before, I'm disappointed in the minifigures. I like the two ghosts, everything else. I'm not really impressed by the rest of the minifigures. The only thing that's really cool about this set is how many pieces it's. It's 3,231 pieces in this set, so it's, it's gonna be a long build, it's gonna be fun. Retails for $250, will be released May 20th for VIP members only, and then June 1st for everyone else. I'm definitely gonna get this set now. Do you think it compares to this set? I have yet to build this, so I'm excited. I don't know, again, I don't know if I should wait till Halloween or if I should do a comparison video between the newer one that comes out, The Haunted House, and do a side-by-side -side and build with this one. You guys let me know in the comments below. Thanks again for watching. Bye.